Imagine this. Soaring high above the clouds, you look down and see not a bustling city, but a sprawling airport built on a massive artificial island floating serenely in the middle of the ocean. This may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but the construction of floating airports is becoming a reality. With the ever-growing demand for air travel and the shortage of land in coastal cities, engineers and architects are turning to this innovative solution to create airports that can keep pace with the demands of the 21st century. Kansai International Airport, which is located on a man-made island in Osaka Bay, Japan, has been gradually sinking since it opened in 1994. The airport's sinking has been attributed to several factors, including the construction of the airport on reclaimed land, the weight of the buildings and concrete, and natural disasters such as the 1995 Kobe earthquake and Typhoon GB in 2018. According to reports, the airport has sunk by 38 feet since it opened, with the islands predicted to settle evenly over a 50-year period before stabilizing at 13 feet above sea level. However, the airport has been sinking much faster than anticipated, leading to concerns about the airport's long-term viability. To counteract the sinking of the airport, engineers have implemented several measures to stabilize the airport. These measures include reinforcing the island's foundations and elevating the runways and taxiways, raising the sea walls. The airport has experienced flooding due to natural disasters such as Typhoon GB in 2018. To prevent such flooding in the future, the airport has raised the sea walls at the cost of $150 million. Reinforcing the island's foundations, engineers have implemented measures to reinforce the island's foundations to increase its stability. This includes adding additional gravel and other materials to strengthen the foundation and ensure the airport's safety. Elevating the runways and taxiways to counteract the sinking of the airport, Engineers have elevated the runways and taxiways, ensuring that they remain above the water level and can operate efficiently. Relocating underground electrical equipment. The airport will relocate electrical equipment kept underground at Terminal 1 to above ground to keep them away from water, reducing the risk of flooding. Upgrading airport facilities. Kansai International Airport plans to invest about 100 billion yen. $911 million through 2025 to upgrade the larger terminal, seeking to boost capacity at the country's NO. 2 hub. Kansai Airports has also set a goal of reducing single-use plastics by 25% and reusing and recycling 60% of plastic packaging by 2022, highlighting its commitment to sustainability. So Kansai International Airport has implemented several measures to stabilize the airport and prevent it from sinking further. These measures include raising the sea walls, reinforcing the island's foundations, elevating the runways and taxiways, relocating underground electrical equipment, and upgrading airport facilities. These measures will ensure that the airport continues to operate efficiently and remains an important hub for international air travel in the region. Although stabilization efforts have greatly slowed the rate at which Kansai Airport is sinking, the airport's long-term viability remains a concern. Plans for further expansion, including a third runway and a new cargo terminal, have been put on hold. Despite these challenges, Kansai Airport remains an important hub for international air travel in the region, offering a wide range of facilities and services for passengers, including shops, restaurants, lounges, and a hotel. Floating airports are not just a futuristic concept, but a practical solution to the challenges faced by many coastal cities. With limited land available for expansion, traditional airports are quickly reaching their capacity limits. By building floating airports, cities can expand their air travel capabilities without sacrificing precious land. The construction of floating airports involves creating an artificial island, often using materials such as concrete or steel, and anchoring it securely in the ocean. This new platform provides ample space for runways, terminals, and other airport infrastructure. The floating nature of the airport also allows for unique design opportunities, such as incorporating sustainable energy sources like wind and solar power. One of the biggest advantages of floating airports is their versatility. They can be constructed near major cities and then relocated as needed, making them an ideal solution for cities with rapidly growing populations or changing needs. Additionally, their floating nature provides a level of protection from natural disasters such as hurricanes and earthquakes. 
ensuring that airport operations can continue even in adverse conditions. Despite these benefits, the construction of floating airports is not without its challenges. The cost of building these massive structures can be high, and there are also concerns about the environmental impact of these artificial islands on the surrounding ocean and marine life. However, despite these challenges, the future of floating airports is looking bright. With the technology and expertise available today, engineers and architects are developing innovative solutions to make these airports a reality. Whether it is a city looking to expand its air travel capabilities or a country looking for a unique solution to its transportation needs, floating airports are poised to play a major role in shaping the future of air travel. The construction of floating airports represents a bold step forward in the world of aviation. With the increasing demand for air travel and the shortage of land in coastal cities, these innovative structures offer a unique solution to the challenges faced by many cities. Whether you're a traveler looking for a new and exciting airport experience, or an engineer eager to help shape the future of air travel, the world of floating airports is one worth watching. Air travel has come a long way since its inception, and the future of aviation looks even more exciting with the development of futuristic airport projects around the world. These innovative structures are pushing the boundaries of what is possible and are set to change the way we travel. Want to see more of them? Here are three of the most exciting airport projects in the works today. The floating airport Dubai. Dubai is known for its ambitious projects, and the floating airport is no exception. This massive airport will be built on an artificial island and will feature multiple runways, terminals, and even a marina. The floating nature of the airport will provide ample space for expansion and will allow for unique design opportunities such as incorporating sustainable energy sources like wind and solar power. The Seabreacher Airport, Tokyo. Tokyo is one of the busiest cities in the world, and the Seabreacher Airport is a unique solution to its growing air travel needs. This futuristic airport will be built on the water and will feature a sleek underwater runway that will allow planes to take off and land just like submarines. The Seabreacher Airport will be a true engineering marvel and it will be a game-changer for air travel in Tokyo. The Skyport, Singapore. Singapore is a hub for air travel in Southeast Asia, and the Skyport is a visionary project that will take it to new heights. This massive airport will be built on an artificial island and will feature multiple runways, terminals, and a floating control tower. The Skyport will be a cutting-edge facility, incorporating the latest in sustainable technology and design. These are just a few of the many exciting airport projects in the works today. With the increasing demand for air travel and the need for innovative solutions, it's an exciting time for the future of aviation. Whether you're a traveler looking for a new and exciting airport experience or an engineer eager to help shape the future of air travel, the world of futuristic airports is one worth watching. To top it off, the future of aviation looks bright with innovative and exciting projects in the works around the world. From floating airports to underwater runways, the world of air travel is changing, and it's an exciting time to be a part of it. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as the future of aviation takes off. The Kansai Airport in Japan, which is located in Osaka Bay and was opened in 1994, is a unique and modern engineering marvel. However, due to its location on a landfill island, it has been suffering from subsidence and sinking 2-4 centimeters per year. The sinking of the airport has been attributed to several factors, including the effects of climate change. The changing climate patterns have resulted in rising sea levels and increased frequency of extreme weather events, such as typhoons, which can cause significant damage to coastal infrastructure. The Kansai airport was flooded by Typhoon Jibi in 2018, which led the Japanese government to begin discussions with the airport's operating firm, Kansai Airports, to raise the runway as early as fiscal year 2019. As we worry about the effects of climate change on our infrastructure and communities, it is also important to be hopeful for new solutions in the future generations. Research and development in fields such as engineering and architecture may lead to innovative solutions that can mitigate the impacts of climate change on our built environment. Additionally, there is increasing awareness of the need to take action on climate change, and future generations may be better equipped to address this issue than we are today. In conclusion, the sinking of the Kansai airport in Japan is a concerning issue that highlights the impacts of climate change on our infrastructure. 
However, with new solutions and increased awareness, we can be hopeful for a more resilient future.